Hello everyone. In this video, let's look at an easy method to find the GCD that is the greatest common divisor. It is also known as highest common factor that is HCF. Okay. So GCD and LCM of any two numbers. LCM is nothing but least common multiple or lowest common multiple. Okay. So in simple terms, GCD is nothing but a number which divides the given two numbers and it is the highest among highest possible one. Okay. So the greatest common divisor is nothing but a number that divides the given two numbers and it is the highest possible or the greatest possible one. And LCM is nothing but a number that is a multiple of both the given numbers and is the smallest possible one. Okay. So lowest or least common multiple. So let's start with an example, a simple one. Let's say we are supposed to find GCD and LCM of 28 and 42. Okay, so I'll start like this. I'll write both the numbers side by side. Then I'll draw a line here for where we can write the common factors on this side. So to start with, I, I can clearly see both are even numbers. So 2 will be a common factor to both of them. So I'll start with 2. So dividing 28 by 2, I get 14, which I'll write here. Similarly, dividing 42 by 2, I get 21, which I'll write here. Then we are supposed to find the common factor between 14 and 21. Here we can clearly see it's both the numbers are multiples of 7. So 7 will be a common factor. So 14 divided by 7 gives me 2 and 21 divided by 7 gives me 3. Okay, so here we are finished with 2 and 3 at the end which are the uncommon factors of the given two numbers. So 2 and 3 are the uncommon factors whereas this 2 and 7 are the common factors. Okay. So GCD is nothing but a product of the common factors. So I'll write GCD which is a product of the common factors. So which is 2 multiplied by 7 which is 14 and LCM is nothing but product of the GCD and the product of the uncommon factors. So LCM will be 14 that is GCD multiplied by product of the uncommon factors. Product of the uncommon factors is 2 multiplied by 3 which is 6. So 14 times 6 gives me 84. So GCD of the two numbers, two numbers were 28 and 42. So GCD for the two numbers is 14. LCM for the two numbers is 84. Okay, so let's look at another example now. Let's write this as number one. Let's take the number two. Let's uh, suppose we are supposed to find the GCD and LCM of 48 and 84. Okay. Similarly, I'll start. Both the numbers are even number, so two will definitely be there. We can also consider 4 because I can clearly see that 48 is divisible by 4 as well as 84 is divisible by 4. So I can start with 4 as well. So 48 divided by 4 gives me 12 and 84 divided by 4 gives me 21. Now 12 and 21 both are multiples of 3. Okay, So 3 will be a common factor. So I will divide both the numbers by 3. 12 divided by 3 gives me 4 and 21 divided by 3 gives me 7 okay now 4 and 7 are don't have any common factor so 4 and 7 will be the uncommon factors for 48 and 84 so now we'll write down the gcd and lcm as usual gcd will be the product of the common factors so it is 4 multiplied by 3 which is 12 and lcm will be product of GCD that is 12 and product of the uncommon factors that is 7 times 4 which is 28. So 12 multiplied by 28 gives me uh, 336. Okay, So LCM of 48 and 84 is 336 whereas GCD of 48 and 84 is 12. 336 is nothing but a multiple of 48 as well as 84 and it is the smallest possible one. Okay, now let's look at another example. Let's say we have the two numbers 81 and uh, 135. Okay, so let's 
now both these numbers are odd numbers so it they are not divisible by 2 or 4 or 6 or any of the even numbers let's check if the both the numbers are divisible by 3 using the divisibility factor for 3 we can clearly see that 81 is divisible by 3 and 135 is also divisible by 3 so let's start with 3 so 81 divided by 3 gives me 27 and 135 divided by 3 gives me 45 Now 27 and 45 are obviously multiples of 9, so I can divide both the numbers by 9. Okay, so 27 divided by 9 gives me 3, and 45 divided by 9 gives me 5. Now 3 and 5 are prime numbers, and they are obviously the uncommon factors of 81 and 135. So we'll stop here, and we'll now write down the GCD. GCD is product of the common factors, which is 3 multiplied by 9. It's 27. So 27 will be the greatest common divisor for 81 and 135. Now coming to LCM, <coughs> it will be product of GCD that is 27 multiplied by the product of the uncommon factors that is 15. Okay, three times five is 15. Now 27 multiplied by 15 gives me an answer of 405. Okay, so 405 is the LCM for 81 and 135. Now let's look at another simple but slightly larger numbers example. Let's say we have uh, 150 and 225. Okay, so some people will obviously uh, know that 150 and 225. are obviously multiples of 25 so we can directly start with 25 as a common factor okay so dividing 150 by 25 we get 6 and dividing 225 by 25 we get 9 6 and 9 again have a common factor of 3 okay both are multiples of 3 so i can divide both of them by 3 so 6 divided by 3 gives me 2 and 9 divided by 3 gives me 3 Now two and three will be the final uncommon factors. So GCD for the two numbers that is 150 and 225, the GCD will be 25 multiplied by three, which is 75. Okay. And LCM will be product of GCD that is 75 multiplied by the product of the uncommon factors, which is six. So 75 multiplied by six gives me 450. So GCD of 150 and 225 is 75, and LCM of the two numbers is 450. I consider simple, easy to know, calculate numbers examples here. We need to, for finding out GCD and LCM of any two numbers, we need to be very well versed with the divisibility point. Okay, so test of divisibility for the smaller numbers, that is uh, two onwards up to nine or eleven or thirteen, we need to be very well with that. or we should be able to divide the given numbers by the small numbers so that we can find the common factors quickly i hope this method is has been well understood by everyone